Let's take a look at the lesson, Reduce to Lowest Terms. It says write four eighths in lowest terms. Four eighths. Well, I know that we can divide the top and bottom of a fraction by a number, and as long as we divide the top and bottom by that same number, then we are reducing our fraction, and that fraction still has the same value, it is just shown in a different way. So here, we could divide top and bottom by one, but we would still end up with four eighths, so that would not be lowest terms. We could divide by two, but I do believe there is a larger number we could divide by. Do you know what it is? Yes, four, we could divide the top and bottom by four. All right, and the reason this works is because if we look at this, four over four, that is one. If we were to show this as a whole number, four over four is four fourths, which is one whole. So really we are just dividing this fraction by one to show it in a different way. Again, it still has the same value. Four divided by four is one, and eight divided by four is two. So four eighths is the same as one half. I will show you why this works. Here we have a circle split into eighths. If we were to shade in one, two, three, four, four eighths is the same as one half. We just divided by those four pieces. All right, so one half is our answer. Six twelfths, let's write six twelfths in lowest terms. I like to go in order from one to make sure that I am not missing any factors. So one, of course, could work, but two, that could work. So could three. Four would not work because four goes into 12, but four cannot go into six nicely. Five would not work. Six would work, and that is the highest one that we can do, so we're going to use six because they want the lowest terms. Six divided by six is one. 12 divided by 6 is 2, so 1 half. Write 6 twelfths in lowest terms. All right, we have 6 twelfths. Do you remember what the greatest common factor between these two numbers was? Yes, 6. So we can divide the top and bottom by 6. 6 divided by 6 is 1. 12 divided by 6 is 2. So 6 twelfths is equivalent to 1 half. Three twelfths. So write three twelfths in lowest terms. Well, I can see just by looking at this, I could divide the top and bottom by three because I know 12 is divisible by three and the largest number three is divisible by is three. So three divided by three is one. 12 divided by three is four. So three twelfths is equal to one fourth. Two eighths. Well, first, I like to look at my numerator and think, could I divide both by my numerator? Yes, I could. Divide by 2 and divide by 2. That way, my numerator will be 1. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So, 1 fourth. Here we have 6 twelfths. Well, I know three could fit into both of those, but that's not the largest one. Ah, six is the largest one. Divided by six, divided by six. Six divided by six is one. 12 divided by six is two. So six twelfths is equivalent to one half. Write six eighths in lowest terms. Here we have six eighths. So, I see that we could divide the top and bottom by two. Could we divide it by anything larger? Let's see, three, nope, four, nope, five, no, and not six. All right, so it's just two. Six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. So the answer is three fourths. Nine sixths. Let's write that in lowest terms. Nine. Well, I know I could divide the top and bottom by a number. I could divide the top and bottom by three. And I will end up with nine divided by three is three. 
6 divided by 3 is 2. Ah, 3 halves. But if I have 3 halves, 1, 2, 3, ah, I know that is 1 whole and 1 half left over. I could say how many times would 2 go into 3? 1 time. How many pieces would be left over? 1. So it is 1 and 1 half. Right, six fourths in lowest terms. Six fourths. Well, I know I can divide the top and bottom by two. Six divided by two is three. Four divided by two is two. Ah, here's the same one. Do you remember what the answer was for this? What is three halves as a mixed number? Yes, one and one half, because two will go into three one time. There will be one half left over, so one and one half. Now we have three twelfths, right? Three twelfths in lowest terms. Well, I like to see if I can divide by my top number first, my numerator. Ah, I could divide three by three, and I definitely could divide twelve by three, so let's divide both by three. Three divided by three is one. Twelve divided by three is four, so the answer is one fourth. Amazing work today, friends.